Hi there, welcome back. Um, so today I have a Ulta haul. I am also going to try a new foundation. It's very exciting. Um, and some other random stuff. So let's get into it. So Ulta, right? So they were having this thing, if you are a platinum member or the highest member, whatever it is, that if you bought, everything you bought was four times points. So I bought stuff I would normally buy. So my, uh, what was I gonna say? I just realized what else I wanted to try in this video. So I'm grabbing them, sorry. Uh, that, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at this. Uh, so you get four times points. So I bought stuff I would normally buy. So I will have enough points next time for my hair to be free. That's all I was trying to say. So I'm just going to show you what I got. We're going to go through some new stuff and yeah. So I got this drunk elephant jelly cleanser. I've bought it before and I really like it. it they are cruelty free. Um, the stuff is kind of expensive. It's like $32 but it really works. Like, as you can tell, my skin is very clear and I don't usually have like acne prone skin or anything, but I was using the one from Clinique and then I realized that they're not cruelty free. So I switched to Drunk Elephant. Um, this is my husband's. It's from the body shop. It's Tea Tree Facial Wash. So my skin is really dry and his is really oily. And so this has been helping him keep his skin from being less oily. I bought this from Sephora. This is not from Ulta, but I bought it yesterday. So here we go. Um, it's from Rare Beauty and it's their new uh, liquid blush in the shade Encourage. And like, look at how pretty that is. I'm like, I'll swatch it for you. I'll do it on the inside of my hand because the outside of my hand is sad. It actually looks like kind of like a matte lipstick formula, but it's actually supposed to be really dewy. So I was excited to try this. While I'm swatching things, I also got some stuff from House Labs because they were having a sale on Amazon. So I got three uh, lip gloss shades. So I got like this nude one, this pink one, and then this like dark purple one. And they all came in a set and they were really cheap. It was like 10 bucks for three or something. So I bought them because I wanted to try it. So that's the first shade, which is in... This is really cool packaging, by the way. This is in Le Riot. No, it's in Scream. Le Riot is the kind of lip gloss. This is in the shade Entranced. This is like the clearer one. It's like clear with like a pink, pink glitter. It's pretty. And then this one is called Ethereal. So these are like just based on putting them on my hand. They're kind of sticky actually, but we'll see. They're pretty. And I, again, they were really cheap. I actually bought a um, highlighter blush combo too that I'll show you. Sorry, I'm just getting my cellar water. And speaking of my cellar water, once I'm done with these two, I'm gonna go back to the Garnier one because now Garnier is now cruelty free and I like theirs better. This one is not bad. I've shown it before. It's the Urban Hydration Kiwi and Pomegranate Micellar Water. And I mean, it works fine. It's just the, I really like the other one, the Garnier better. I feel like it like cleans better, but we'll keep going with the haul real quick. So the foundation we're gonna try today is the Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. I got it in the shade Snow, which this is my Too Faced one in Pearl. So they look pretty similar. I went based on the um, the description. It says cool pink undertones. So we're gonna try this. This I was looking at Ulta because my Too Faced one, which I bought a backup of just in case this sucks. Um, the Too Faced one is forty five dollars now. They've increased the price. It was forty, I think, which is still too expensive for a foundation. But I really like it. So this one I think was six dollars. So I'm gonna try it and see if it's any good. Also, just random stuff. I got these, if you're here local, um, I went to a um, event for PAC, Pima Animal Care Center, and there was this lady there selling these cute hair accessories, and I love hair clips. So it's from Bonita Accessories. And like, look at how freaking cute. There's like little kitties, and they're just like hair clips. This one has cactuses. 
And then this one was just like cute big sparkly bows, which I love. So just some random things. If you are um, local, I'll show the little thing again. So you could always email or, I don't know if she has a website. I didn't, I don't know if I got a card, but I just wanted to show those cause I thought they were cute. But I also, I must've put it in the drawer behind me. Hold on, this is important. I want to show you the other house labs thing I got. I know Alex, life is hard. I know Alex, here it is. Okay, no, you gotta lay down baby. So I don't know if you can see Alex or not. You might've been able to see his tail but my husband is outside and it's too hot for Alex to be out there and he'll cry for his dad, so he has to be in the room with me. Alex, lay down, baby. Um, but this is from House Labs. Again, I got it from Amazon where it was it was cheap. Um, it's the Head Rush Highlight and Blush Duo. And the blush is matte, which I didn't realize when I bought it because I prefer like shimmery blushes or dewy blushes, I guess. But the formula is really really soft so you have to like really build it up if you want a lot of color but they're very pretty especially the highlighter is really pretty too hi baby and so we'll try that today as well um i don't know if i have anything else i'll probably find stuff as i'm like digging around to finish to start my makeup even i haven't started anything so this might be a long one so I don't know what I'm gonna end it. I might do the whole thing. Cause my husband and I are gonna go see that new movie by Jordan Peele. I don't even know the name of it, to be honest with you. But um, yeah. Now here is the challenging part is peeling off the sticker to get this open. I should have done this before I got on camera, my bad. And my husband's outside, so I can't even, like, yell at him and be like, can you come open this? So I'm going to use some tweezers, and hopefully that'll work. Because I'm sure all you ladies with acrylics out there know, like, you cannot get underneath anything and pull it to save your life because you're going to crack your nail, and then your nail lady is going to be all pissed. So before I even put this on, let's start with primer. So I've used this before. It's a Smashbox Primer Water. I really like it. Um... This is one of, I think it's the second bottle I've used. They don't sell it anymore, unfortunately, but it's great for my dry ass skin. My lips are really dry too, don't, don't look at them. I'll use one of my, um, my lip scrubs, that's something I can talk about too, because I don't think I've used one on my channel before. I've been really bad. And I've been wanting to um, film more. I even like went to pawn shops and was looking for a better camera and I couldn't find a good one. They were all about the same quality as this one, which is also fine. It's not bad. It's just, we want two to be able to like really both of us use the camera, you know? Um, where did it go? Oh, here it is. So this is from Jeffree Star. It's called the Velour Lip Scrub in Rainbow Sherbert. So these, if you haven't tried anything by Jeffree Star, you should, because honestly, like, fuck the drama. I just love his stuff. But this, it smells amazing, and it you they're edible. You can taste them. So you just put it on your lips, and it's, you know, going to take off all the dead skin. And I should have done this before I did primer, but who cares? Yeah, it's edible, so you literally just like lick it off your lips and your lips feel soft, it's amazing. And these are relatively cheap on his site and they last forever. I've had this one probably like six months, easily. Come on. I can't get the lid on. I'm like, I can't win. All right, let's get started before I lose my mind. So I just did the primer, let's try this, the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade Snow. Oh, okay, it's got a pump. I didn't realize that. Let's try it. And this is the um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Come on, pump. So I'm gonna start with like two pumps because it looks like it's kind of thick. Oh, this might be too light. Uh oh, we might be in trouble. We'll see. It might work once I have like 
foundation and blush and powder and all that, but it is kind of light. I like the texture of it though, it's very soft and it doesn't feel super heavy. Um, this is a medium coverage is what it says. Um, I think the, let's see, the Too Faced one, I think this is medium to full. I've been using this so long you would think I would know, right? Yeah, medium to full coverage is the Too Faced one. But again, it's a $40 difference, almost $40. Yeah, this is definitely like medium for sure. This is definitely not full because you can still see like I have sunspots and I don't feel like it covered a whole lot versus my Too Faced one. I feel like that one covers a lot more. So I'm going to try another squirt and see if that does anything because I don't normally have to use this much. I use like one squirt of my Too Faced and it covers my whole face. It also smells, it's not bad at all. It's very perfumey. Um, so if you're sensitive to smell, I would not use this because I can smell it on my face. I'm hoping that once I use like, con or I almost said conditioner, um, concealer and powder and stuff that it won't smell as bad. And this is good actually, cause I can see how it layers on top of itself. Like we're going to the movies, so if my makeup looks bad, it, you can't, like, who who cares, right? Like, I'm going to be in the dark. I do really feel like I have to blend really hard, though, because, like, there's a section right here on my nose that I feel like it's not really blending. Okay, so this, again, this says it's medium. I would even say maybe light, light to medium coverage. Um, I've done like two coats now and I feel like I barely have makeup on. Like I don't look like, like when I wear my Too Faced one, people, I've had people tell me like, oh, your skin looks like a porcelain doll. And I don't feel that way with this one. I feel like it helped a little bit, but We'll see. Let's add some stuff on top of it and see if it's still pretty. So I'm going to use stuff I know works, like my Born This Way concealer. Somehow I ended up with like four of these as backup. So if any of you are my shade, let me know and I'll give you one because I don't want them to go bad. Um, this is also in the shade Snow. But as you can see, it's a little more yellow than the foundation. And I'm actually going to add a little bit to like, I have a mole, or not even a mole. It's like a beauty mark right there that I'm going to cover up because it's not raised in case anyone cares. Um, I'm just looking for some more stuff I need. Hold on. Again, using stuff I know works. But let's blend this concealer on top of this foundation and see how it works. Okay, it's blending okay. It looks kind of powdery, honestly, which is weird. I didn't expect that. It looks... It almost looks like I have powder on already, at least where I blended the concealer. And I don't know if you can tell under this eye, but it looks like it's creasing and I don't normally have that problem, so it might be a foundation issue. I was hoping I found a dupe for the Too Faced one. Because it was the only thing on Ulta site that came up when I was like, oh, do we foundation that um, like was similar to the Too Faced one, but it is pretty. It seems glue, glue, uh, glowy. I was trying to say gloomy, I guess. Um, this is the translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. So I'm going to try this. This powder is kind of bougie. I really like the, um, I've just shown this before, the Beauty Bakery flower one. The problem with this is it's a lot smaller. Like this one only comes with 0.44 ounces or 12.5 grams. And this one comes with one whole ounce. So the price may not even be that far off actually because this one has so much more product. But anyway, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques fluffy, fluffy powder brush. I also like how deep the Laura Mercier lid is because then you can like actually put powder and not worry about it getting everywhere versus the flower one, it's much more shallow. 
Okay, this might be a problem. So even just putting powder on, it looks like it's kind of moving the foundation a little bit. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but right here on my cheek, it looks like it took off some of the foundation. So you can see like the pink underneath. Like, let's see if maybe I normally do this and set my powder like with my sponge. So we'll see. Obviously this is a first impression. Maybe I'll hate it the first time, but if I try it again, I might like it, who knows. The thing is I wear my makeup for a long time because of work. So I'm worried like, what if it looks like crap in three hours? So I'm definitely not gonna wear it for 12, you know? Anyway, let's continue. I should have opened this before. I'm really bad at this, you guys. I Like I think like, oh, I have everything. I'm ready and then I'm not. Um, okay. So it's the same NYX pencil I always use in Ash Brown. I have like a hundred of these, not really, but I have a lot on backup because I love them and I use them a lot. It's a real easy to just like brush through, especially if you're somebody who doesn't really care about your eyebrows. Like you're not one that like sculpts them. You just kind of want something quick. This is the best and it's so cheap. It's like eight or $9. Do, do, do. And then you just like comb it through to make it look more natural so it's not like carved out, you know? I just darken them a little bit. Okay. Next, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Killer Liner. Like, look at how tiny this thing is. I love this. Cause it's nice and black and it stays all day. I'm gonna pull my eyelid down. So if you don't like that, avert your eyeballs. Um, so I'm gonna leave that for now. I also have this from a subscriber and one of my good friends, Myra. So this is from the Beauty Crop BFF Brow Friends Forever. It's a brow gel. It's the only brow gel I have, so I'm gonna use it. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of brow gel just because I don't really feel like I need it. Like, I don't think that my brows, like, are unruly or, like, go all over the place. But because I have it, I'm gonna use it. And it's cute. It's cruelty-free. So... Hold on, my mother-in-law just texted me, so that might be a thing. I had to let her know that I'm like, I can't go to the door because she's bringing my husband a iron. Anyway, so this is a Too Faced bronzer in, is it a bronzer? Are you a bronzer? Yeah, you're a bronzer in Chocolate Soleil and these have been out for a long time and I've probably talked about it before. This is like my only real like bronzer, I guess. Like I don't really use bronzer. I don't really use um, contour a whole lot, but since I found this, I actually really do like it. So I'm just gonna use this Morphe and Jeffree Star brush and carve out my cheekbones because I don't have any. It's something that happens when you're thick, like your cheekbones just kind of disappear. And then I want to give myself the illusion of not having a double chin, so let's go underneath. I don't know if it actually does anything, but it makes me feel better. Not that I'm insecure about my weight or anything, because I'm really not, but it's just kind of funny. Like it's one of those things that you learn. Like when I, I remember when um, my husband and I were getting married, my photographer would always tell me like, chin long, <laughs> you know, to help prevent like looking like you have a double chin in every single picture, you know? But I really do like this bronzer. I think it's really nice. And um, I just use it as a contour. I don't like to put it on my forehead. I don't feel like that does anything. So I've used, like I said, I used this house laboratories blush before I've used it when I went to work and I think it's okay like I like it enough it's just again it's matte and I don't really like matte blushes so I want to try this one by Rare Beauty again it's in the shade Encourage and it's a liquid yeah is it liquid I guess it's like it comes on a little applicator and I'm kind of scared but we're just gonna try it just boop 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 and we're gonna blend it and see how it works I only have like one other 
cream blush and it's not like this it's in a like pot oh wow that's pretty it's just a lot I probably put too much but it's okay the hardest part is blending it my god okay so it does blend but you definitely like have to try <laughs> like it's not something that like blends really easily but look at how glowy that is I don't even have foundation on and it looks or not foundation I don't have highlighter on it, it looks like I do so if you're somebody that likes really glowy blush I think you'd really like this this is pretty what Sorry, I'm like dealing with family stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna use my powder brush and go over it real quick. Not that I don't like super glowy blush, it just is very glowy. And, wow, I really like that. I might have to get some more shades. Again, that's an encourage and that's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna use this highlighter duo in Ribbon. That's the name of the highlighter and like, oh my god, how pretty. Especially on top of that glowy blush. I think that's what it was missing because when I used the matte blush, it just wasn't as good. Versus this, it's like, holy crap. So if you don't like to glow, don't buy that. Obviously, it'll look better once I have all my makeup on, but for now, that's really pretty. And now that I have like most of my face makeup on, I feel like the e.l.f. one is okay. Do I like it as much as the Too Faced? No. I actually think it's a little more drying. Like, I feel it dry on my forehead, whereas my Too Faced one, I don't usually feel it at all. Um, so that's interesting. Let's see. I didn't even I didn't even grab an eyeshadow palette because I was like, I don't know what I want to use. I really need to do a declutter because I have some stuff that every time I look at it, I'm like, why is that still in my collection? I don't use it. I don't like it, etc. Um, but I'm wearing a lot of black, so let's just do something pretty, like, cool toned. So this is from KKW Beauty. I've used it before. Um, and I, I think I've talked about this too, that I don't really like any of the Kardashians. I think they're terrible humans, <laughs> to be honest. But I got this on sale and I thought it was really pretty, so I'm using it. Um, it's got, like, really pretty, like, just kind of... No, you know what? I'm not gonna use it. I lied. We're gonna use another palette. Hold up. Chanel, you're fine. Chill out, baby. You're okay. I think I've used this one on camera. It's been a while, though. This is um, the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. Again, it's like the rosy neutrals. I don't really use this a lot, so let's use it. I just want to do something like kind of boring because I'm wearing black and I'm wearing like denim like I don't have like a real color on today like I normally do because when I go to work I match my scrubs so I can definitely do I need to start um, doing my makeup and like on camera when I go to work because I always do like fun colors I'm just using the shade Cherish it's just like this light pink I'm just kind of setting the foundation and concealer that's on my eyelids right now um, what do I have? I don't have a whole lot here. Let's use the shade Gratitude. I don't think I've used it. It's like a, a brown. It's like a pinky light brown. Again, boring, but it's okay because I want to use a colorful lipstick. I actually did that the other day. I did a really colorful, um, I did a blue lipstick, but really boring, like eyeshadow. I just did like a bronze and a gold and then I did blue lipstick and it looked really nice. I don't think I'm going to do blue lipstick. I'll probably use one of these new um, lip glosses. I don't know if you can hear my husband. I think he was talking to my mother-in-law because I think she's here.
again, we're going to the movies, so it's not like anything super exciting, but I just want, I wanted to play with makeup and I haven't filmed in a while, so. Please tell me what you want to see. You guys don't tell me and then I feel like nobody cares, so I stopped doing my makeup, but I need to. I, I do enjoy it. I'm gonna use this one called Love Stone. It's like the, it's this one. And it looks weird in the pan because it's really like emollient. It looks very oily. So I'm gonna use it um, to, it's to me, I use it, it's a glitter, but it doesn't really show a whole lot. So I just kind of use it as like a primer for the next shadow I'm gonna put on top of it because it doesn't work like a glitter. It's very um, sheer. Like if you like, you know, sheer glitter, you might really like it. But to me, it's more of a primer shade than it is anything. I don't know if that's how she meant it to be used, but that's how I use it. And I'm gonna use this Cosmic Love because I've never used it and it's really pretty. It's like a pretty purple. Oh my God, that's pretty. It's like a purple with a blue shift to it. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh. Wow, I like that a lot. Wow. Why have I not used this shade before? That is so pretty. My poor dog is sitting, I don't know if you guys can see him. He's like sitting by the door because he heard his dad go into the bedroom. So he's just like, dad, I'll let him out when I'm done. He's fine. Like, don't feel bad for him. He's spoiled. Spoiled rotten, I tell you, this dog. He's so good though, he's such a good boy. We love him, we take him to work now. Okay, now I'm going to use my handy dandy NYX Epic Ink Liner. For you 90s babies, yes, I love Blue's Clues. And if you don't know what handy dandy notebook is, look it up. I had to explain that to somebody when I worked at um, Palo Verde, the psych hospital. He had never heard of Blue's Clues and I was very upset. I had to explain Blue's Clues to him and he was, I don't know, probably five or six years younger than I was, or I am. Okay, I totally fucked up both sides of my eyeliner so now I have to fix it. This one is too, like this way, this one is too up. And I don't know if you can tell, but I like made a huge smuts, so I gotta fix it. Um, grumble. And then I'll just do my mascara and I'll be done. This one I hate, this one looks so bad. The other one I can probably deal, but this one, mm, this isn't gonna work for me. Liquid eyeliner is very difficult to do if you're not used to it because it just doesn't always cooperate even though I really do like this light eyeliner, I really do, but I think I might need to replace it. I think I took this one when I traveled recently and I've noticed that when I do that, um, it just doesn't cooperate as well. I don't know if it's like, oh my god, why? the heat from being like underneath on a plane or something. I don't know what the problem is. Okay, now this one's better and this one looks like shit. I just can't win. So I'm just gonna do my mascara and then I'll fix this off camera. At least one eye looks good. Actually, I might just fix it because what if the thumbnail is this? because I should know how to change the thumbnail. I should be better at social media. I'm just not, I just don't care enough. I don't put enough effort into it. And it's probably because I have two jobs. Like if this was my full-time job, I would absolutely take the time to like pick my thumbnail and do all this crazy stuff. I just don't have time for that. I really don't. Um, this was the Man Eater mascara by Tarte. If you can tell how nice that is, I really do like this mascara. I've used it for years. That one, um, the Tarte, what is it? It's like the purple too, but I can't remember what it's called, but it's really nice. I'm not taking away the whole wing. I'm just taking away part of it and then I'll fix it. Because the problem with that is now I've messed up like my highlighter. But it's okay. 
we'll just pretend that I didn't. I've used more of this now than I do like in real life. I don't know if it's like just the fact that I'm like putting it on camera. I don't know what the issue is. Yeah, I did it again. Like I can't get it. I want it to be pointy like this one and now it's like rounded. I'm like, now I'm getting mad. <laughs> so let's finish off this one. We'll try the mascara, or not mascara. This is the um, Fuck Proof Mascara by Jeffree Star that I'm putting on top of the Tarte one. Not for any particular reason other than I like it and they're both open. So since they're open, I'm trying to use them up because I have other others in backup. So obviously I have to fix that wing. Don't look at it, it's so bad. Don't look at it, it's ugly. But I do wanna try these and then I'll just turn off the camera and I'll fix it myself. My camera doesn't have a ton of battery left anyway. So out of these three, I really like, I wanna try the dark one, let's see. It might not look good because of the eye color, but we'll see. This is the shade Scream. It actually reminds me of my YSL in shade 15, but this is a stain and this is a gloss and this is so pretty. It is kind of messy though. Like I can see why, like I wouldn't really want to wear this if I'm gonna go eat. Because I feel like it could get everywhere, but it is really pretty. I think I'm gonna wear it for now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for staying with me. I would use my setting spray, but I have to fix this ugly wing. But look at this, this side of my face looks nice, right here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you want to see and I'll be back hopefully this week. I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm going to try. Love you. Bye.